In 3.1 we're looking at handling text. Now we've got to be able to recognize good practice in creating slide content and that usually means using short concise phrases, uh, bullet points or numbered lists. Now quite often PowerPoint is misused in a lot of schools um, because you have to write uh, great explanations to show that you understand something and it's handed in a bit like here's all the evidence. But remember presentations are really there to accompany a speaker for most of the time. So they shouldn't have all the information on the screen for your audience to view. They're there as pointers and reminders to the audience about what is going to be covered so they can follow along with the presenter. They know how much longer they've got to go, they know what's coming up. So if they've got any particular questions, they can look and see, oh yeah, that's going to be answered in three points. I'm not going to interrupt at this point because I'll wait until he gets there to see if I'm going to ask any questions. Um, it also acts as a reminder for the presenter um, to make sure they don't miss anything. So here, nice, easy, bulleted list on animations. I'm not trying to explain what they are. They're simply there so as a presenter, I could cover those and explain what they are to my audience and make sure I didn't miss any of the three types of animations.